right? That's not wishful thinking. That's just like, it feels like uh, we're kind of getting to the end of this. Except Neville who left. Oh. Yeah, that's true. I can't remember if Neville actually likes this game. Snert. The entire Russian Slav media is like, everything sucks, but you must persevere anyway, because what alternative do you have? getting closer that's that sounds to me like there's at least another third of this game left kitty we are alive we survived the crash oh dear yes we are alive but it word is gone he brought us home we are outside the town Fran I can smell it are you sure kitty are we already home I thought you would be happier about it what is it it's just that I wonder where Itward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you can take the medicine to see him again. Yes, Kitty, but I took all the pills already, you see? The bottle is empty. Let's go home. Maybe Itward will come to me someday. We took all the pills. I remember him saying, Ah, hello, it's me, Neville. I love Fran Beau so much. Oh my goodness, this is our street, kitty. Hey, street. Yes, it is. Here we are. This looks much more gray than I remember. I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. That door looks small in comparison to Franbo. Maybe she's not at home, dear. Do you have the key to go inside? Like, look, she looks taller than the door, and she's supposed to be a child. I don't have it, kitty, but I know there's a hidden key somewhere. Just need to remember where. Let's find it. Would you like some more adventure? Not really, no. Why are you asking? I thought that maybe you would like to climb on this plant holder. I'm too tired. I'll make your favorite meal. You can't get me to do things for food, but kitty. Alright, Fran, I'll cry climb only if we don't find the key. That's a weird statement, kitty. How will we ever know if the key can't be found? I don't know. Let's search. The key! I took the key, Fran. This is also so confusing, what should I do? You must climb and go through the window. I couldn't find the key, it seems that I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it. That sounds very strange. It's very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now in order to get inside, Kitty, you must climb and open the door for me. Alright then, wish me luck. <laughs> Mr. Midnight, do you hear me? Kitty, open the door. Fran, I can't believe this. You are alive. Where were you? Don't take me back. Dr. Deer, I'm fine. Please don't take me back to the asylum. I look, I've been looking for you for a long time now. How did you escape? Uh, through the yellow doors. But why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed and went through the window of the second floor, sir. Isn't that your missing cat? But we found each other in the end, sir. May I ask why you were here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. I'm three quarters of asleep at this hour, so I can't even remember if Nebster exists. 
I'm pretty tired too, actually. It may be better this way. You'll have to come with me then. No, I won't. Leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Ran, I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He is inside. He will open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come home now. Or come with me now. I'm sorry, Fran, I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I have found things that I do not understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Martin and Lucia Bow. Dagenhart were found early this week brutally murdered in their residence on Hayes Street. The investigating police officer, Marco Holma, said it seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced which would cause a quick instantaneous death. Also, there were no signs of a struggle in the house so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back. The police interrogated Drace, Dra uh, Grace Dagenhart Dagenhart, sorry. Jesus. Lucia's twin sister. There's a twins again. I think my my theory about Fran being a twin is is getting um, a little bit confirmed. It's 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 got traction. There's it seems like twins are a huge um, kind of hint in this game. The youngest in the family, Franbo, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. Youngest in the family does not indicate that there wasn't a twin. She was. She could have been the youngest of the two twins. Let the newspaper know that Fran Bo, she was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding about her parents' murder. So, actually, this leads... <laughs> This leads more credence to my theory, because it could be that Frambo is actually the twin. Who told her to lie about me? I'm not dead. But I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I also found out that your medicine was switched. You were given a new variant of duotine. When I looked at it in the lab laboratory, the levels of uh, ectoplomatin were too high. That can't be good. Ectoplomatin creates a door between the subconscious and conscious. Problem is, if the ectoplomatin is too high, the door will be too wide. And that can create a great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I am a bit confused, yes. But that's because of all the new things that I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra-reality, sir, and also travel into other worlds. Ultra-reality, that must be the consequence of duotine, nothing more. That is not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you say? Well, then I may be able to control it. I mean that you are imagining things, that's all. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arms hurt. Did your father harm you with his knife, doctor? What? Who told you that? You did. Or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, then it's true. Please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who is behind all this. The nurses, Oswald, who knows? I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Remor. He took my parents and now he hunts me. He wants me dead. I wish I'd stayed in Etherstha with Pel uh, Pelantris and the Great Wizard. 
Yeah, I mean, you had a lot of chances to do exactly that and kind of uh, turn them all down. What are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Itward or Palantris, and my kitty is all alone. Palantris, Itward? Please, Fran. Palantris is the doctor of Athirsta. He is a, fry a flying creature, very fluffy, sir. And Itward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his medicine. Seems you have been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't a good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw mother and father, too. Maybe Mr. Midnight is dead. Fran's twin sister killed him. The twins? What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. Two girls in the asylum that claimed to see a creature named Edward or something. I think you're misunderstanding, sir. It's Itward. What happened to these girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewed them together. Mostly to see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. Why are you telling this girl this? That's awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for all of this disgrace. Thank you, doctor. Maybe Palantris was right about you. You're not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. Here we are. This is the uh, cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. This is your parents' resting place, and also yours. Why bring Why bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean by right, sir? If we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Use the law to punish such behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir, and for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence, we need to open the coffins. All right, sir, I'll help. Maybe the deedle worms came already. Who? Hmm, anyway, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left, you can go right. I'll see you in a few minutes. Right here, all right? Dr. Dearn, I'll see you soon. How you doing, chat? Are we, uh, resident sleeping? No name, no flowers. Maybe nobody is down there. Stuck. This must be a shovel storage room. Just my luck. Must be a way to open it. An open had a keyhole? Gotta find the key. We lost Mr. Midnight. He's my favorite character. Yay! No human being can cut two people like Baloney without sign signs of, of a struggle. What about pastrami? I'm a tan. They were, they were cut up like pastrami. Is it a little bug? Martin Bow, Lucia Bow, Dagenhart, Fran Bow, Dagenhart. Lovely little bear, you must take care of my parents. I know that you didn't choose to leave me. No human being. Uh, I'm a, a little bit snoozing, but interested in this part of the game. I'm also kind of snoozing. I'm, I'm, I'm like low energy right now. I, I wanted a second coffee, but that didn't happen. You're scary. I wish I had wings like you, but I don't.
Where's the glove box? Glove slap, baby glove slap. Glove slap, don't you take crap. Oh, it's a little tiny pine cone fella. You have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio, I'm Fran. Hello, little pine cone. Bologna is rush in Russian called Dr. Kolbasa, which is not made from doctors. Kolbasa and bologna are two different things, are they not? A giant, don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I have big eyes. <laughs> I see, I'm Sebastian, by the way, the tribe's collector. Tribe's collector. That sounds exciting. Right now we are trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. The leather? It's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Hmm. Last year we used old human skin, but the Deedle worms wanted it back. Uh, so we are looking for something more synthetic. I hope you can find the leather. Sebastian, would you do me a favor? Depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. Could do that, but we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door, all right? Where will I find that, huh? All right, I'll see what I can do. Uh, is this book got some leather in it? Oh, there's actually quite a lot in here. Kolbasa is basically Russian for many variants of sausage and kolbasas. <laughs> basically every product meat stick is kolbasa. I didn't know that. Oh, is it, is it knife time? Do, 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 do. Here we go. Uh, I got an achievement for that, but I don't think it's actually helpful. Do you want a hint? I would like a hint, yes. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is it the upholstery? Yo! Yo, Big Big Simp didn't need a hint. Big Simple didn't need a hint. Big Simple got the big brain. You can get leather from the car. I read that after I figured it out, just so you know. Just so you know, there's a delay. I did not need the hand. <laughs> Thank you, giant miss. Our tribe, the Pine Zealous, will be happy. Savage to ruin a car like that. And now I, I'll open the door just a second. It's not ruined, it's just rugged. Yo, are you dead, Sebastian? Um, I'm all right, miss, yes. Good, well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Hey, Fabio. I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. There's nothing in here I could use. Are you kidding me? I guess I have to follow the pine cones. Oh, there you are, friend. Well, the, all of that was like completely unnecessary. Found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Bam, 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 bam. 
Well now, we'll have to come up with something to open the coffins. I just happen to have the thing. My my good old jimmying stick. I took the crowbar, sir. I needed it to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, Fran, but you can do the honors of opening the coffins. Also, what the heck happened to my d d car chair? Car seat? Why, why did, is it torn? Well, see, sir, I needed to give it to a pine cone. The lids are stuck. Oh no, Mr. Midnight! Oh, that sucks. Oh my goodness, Father. Wish you could talk and tell me who took you away from me. I guess you would take that as a compliment, wouldn't you? I'm not in the coffin. Great. That can't be my kitty because Mr. Midnight is home. Poor kitty, I wonder if you had a name. I'll name you Albert. <laughs> yeah, nice dog making a traumatized six-year-old dig the grave of her parents. And also apparently her, like, childhood pet cat. Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir, I just feel really bad doing this, seeing my parents like this. Also, that dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Ran, I told you your cat was missing and maybe this one is actually your cat. Can't be, sir. I find I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. I'll take you back home. Fran is already all kinds of traumatized. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's a little bit more trauma? Sure. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, she's already like all kinds of messed up. Let's just mess her up a little bit more. Just, just a little bit of trauma. As a treat. Oh no. Vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid. You have no manners. What? I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light. The one you love. The one you respect. And the one you desire to love you. You broken little girl. The House of Madness invites you inside. He's not discovering his rights. <laughs> you want to find those you love. In darkness, you must wake up. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up. Love that the kitty got a full-size coffin. Well, my uh, my theory is that the, the coffin was intended for Fran, but they couldn't find her, so they just put her cat inside. She has Mr. Midnight. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Aunt Grace, is that you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Uh, really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where is Mr. Midnight? Your cat, well, you know he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Your cat killed my sister and your father. He is a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. Doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one, right? You can't blame Mr. Midnight. He is my best friend. It's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I always take, always take responsibility for my actions, even if they are not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to my bed? Because your hands do bad things when they are untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining Fran, don't you worry about the lies. Seeker of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little shining Fran, go to sleep and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry, and hate. But the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling friend.
Don't leave me here, Aunt Grace. Come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. I hope he is fine. What should I do now? Tick-tock. Crazy sound. It never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said that time is a layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time. Or I'm just imagining things, but if it's true, how could I make contact with her? Dr. Deers, Dearn said that everything is in my head. To ride the choo-choo train is the best. <gasps> and the wind took all the magical dust away. Oh, hello. What are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. But you are chained. Are you a dog? Wait, do you... Do I know you? I'm not a dog. And yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? You are myself. You really are. You think so? Then this means that I managed to enter the ultra-reality. Did you meet Itward already? He al always talks about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That means you are broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross into ultra-reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitation. Sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They? Who are they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones, the white ones. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. Oh, and can you tell me then why we see the things we do? What about if I help you unlock the handcuffs first, then we can talk? Good, good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he is in danger. And Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty, you know? Our best friend? I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock you. It so happens that I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. Oh, we are we are her now. Okay. Hey, it's Itward and uh, the Pelantras. This is a really messed up game, honestly. Which key? Thank you so much, Fran. He you really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, Fran, before I forget, Palantras told me that if we meet someday, I should tell, uh, give this to you. Here, I think it will help you open something. You know him too? Wow, thank you. He also told me that if we met, you would be ready for what's about to come. Ready for what? Tell me. Oh no, I can't now. He's, she's coming. Be quiet. You must see the doctor now. No, don't go, little Fran. We have to, stuff to talk about. That nurse is a bad, bad, bad nurse. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. True. I'm assuming this ha tells us how to unlock this. The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I press it by the ears, first twice to the left and once to the right. I rub its only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream, stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door.
Oh, there's ears on there. Okay, okay, I get it. I press it by the ears. First twice to the left and once on the right. Okay, left twice, once right. Uh, then I twice. Then left ear. And then I. Ugh, I'm gonna have to write it. You know what? You know what's uh, easy for me is just um, taking a screenshot. That's that's worked historically very well. Hey, bot. Damn it. <laughs> Twice. Then right ear. Twice eye. Left ear. Press the eye again. There we go. I'm a master. Wah. I'm assuming that key is for the lock on the doll. Before I go, is there anything else here that I need? Painted this one, it's Kitty and me. What is this stuff? I'm gonna keep this little piano to play lovely, lovely melodies. He likes to play with energy. There's like little things kind of hidden here. Oh, there's a key. Knife time, knife time. A lot of knife time in this game. Hmm. Well, they maybe they're not twins, but they certainly are two people. This is Alice from school. We like to play together. That's maybe... I feel like that's a reference almost. Cat hair all over it. Lots of candy in the jar. Sleeping bag when I find Mr. Midnight. Ooh, we got some balloons for the balloon man. Has a big button. Can we not do anything? Okay. Cool case, I may need it. Seashell? Wake up, Mother Mak Mabuka. The horn child is playing with the light. The Valoka is angry and shining too bright. Mother Mabuka, wake up, wake up, and give up the child. Before the darkness ends in the hands of the light. Mabuka must wake up. Let's build the ACOG clock on the back of the giant cat. Too strong are the bubbles and too bright the light, she cried. Me, Mabuka, the mother of the darkness, will open my heart. Please take my little horned evil child and shut down the lights. Um, look at all of the things we need. Working bulb, wake up clock, bottle with water. 
seashell. Uh, yeah, it won't let me take the seashell. Clock. Time from the cuckoo clock. A Kamala, nasty creatures. Excuse me, is someone down there? Yes, I'm a somebody. Seen a black cat? No, I have not seen a cat, but I do see a black thing eating from me. Are you alright? No, not really. I don't feel very well. I feel sad. I can help. I got rid of a Kamala once, all by myself. Really? That sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. We'll see what I can do, don't worry. So I'm assuming we're gonna need some water. I believe you'll be able to come back to this room? Okay. Honestly, I was just like looking, because there's a lot of things to see in this room. Fran, when, maybe when she was still happy. All right, let's uh, let's leave. What a big guy! What are you looking at? A key to unlock things that are locked. This is not the right key, it's too big. There you go. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I'm sorry, but I need this key. There are many doors that I wish to unlock. Tell your friend to be nice and open this door. He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It would be hard to get that key without his permission. Reinforced teeth? I see. I'll see what I can do to take the key then. And who are you, if I may ask? I'm Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. Welcome to Mabuka's den. Mabuka? Who is Mabuka? You don't know who Mabuka is? You don't? Leave now, then. Just leave. Roberto, sir, I've, I haven't seen been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead, I, so I know. Mabuka is the mother of the darkness. The darkest darkness. The obscurity, the end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. Am I at the fifth reality? I thought Remor, Remor was the king here. Remor, the terrible black, the son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I have said enough. I'll be back later. Anyway, I must get your friend's key. This looks like Itward's jacket. Inside the little house. Well, I already got that key. Itward forgot his hat. Or maybe the hat forgot his head. You have a little flesh left on you. Yo, we got chocolate floor. Hello. Intruder, infiltrator, why would you enter without presenting yourself? I am Okula, the eye from beyond. Behold my beauty. Oh, I'm sorry, what a big eye you are. You must see very well. I see everything, nothing less. Can you see my cat? Your cat? How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you a royal, queen, princess? We are friends. Friends, how lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help from inside a cage. The bearer of the cage entered Mabuka's underground. He's still down there, inside the cage. My brethren, yes, you are also a giant eye, Miss <laughs> said. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose. Its fur is very dark, black as the deepest night. Tim, that's my friend, Mr. Midnight. I have to go and find him. 
But Mabuka is asleep. Waking her up can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my, my home. You are brave, and I respect bravery very much. Thank you, Okula. I'm Fran, by the way. I'll see you around. Hairbrush to brush hair. A shell to brush hair. A knife to knife. Knifey knife. Time to knife. What did that do? Anything? I, I got a, a working bulb. Wake up clock. Bottle with water. Soap bar. One glove. Black wire. Do, 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 do. Pull the curtain. There's the soap. Oh, there's the black wire. Nice. Insert button. Oh, I need the I need the button from that coat, huh? Do do do. There's the bottle. We're we're making a lot of progress right now. I need that soap, but we'll uh I need to go get the button for my coat. Why does giant eyeball need a hairbrush? To brush his eyeball, silly. Do do I guess I have to use the knife. Is the knife really the answer? My god, the knife is <laughs> It's like the catch all answer. It's the solution to so many problems, and it's hilarious to me. Pull the curtain, or can you? There goes my button. Now what? I think I disconnected the machine. Oh, right. Okay. That's not the key. At least I hope this can help me somehow. Uh, what would one do with pliers? Hey, Andrino. You're back. We need a glove. How do I how do I get over there? Do 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 do. Maybe the pliers are the key. Worth a try, right? You can get over there later. Oh, pliers to remove the key. Ouch! Do, 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 do. This game is so gruesome. <laughs> Wrong key. Time to brush the giant cat. A wake up cock, perfect. It's tightly tied. Knife time, knife time. Oh my god, that really is the answer again. Wow, what a big cat. You look exactly like Mr. Midnight. Back of the giant cat, it must be for something important. Probably a battery. Oh. There's a single glove. We need that. But this game is so good. It is. It's it's truly disturbed, but I, I do enjoy it. Oh, look, another one of these people. I really need the key hanging just behind you. Excuse me, but I do not talk to strangers. Let me take the key. 
please. If I choose not talking to strangers, but listening, not listening is also part of the deal. Are you stuck? I am firmly attached to it. Why would you ask? I'm just curious. See you later. <laughs> knife time, knife time. No, um. What do you mean, no, um? Don't judge me. Look, I found a magical hair comb. Oh, wait, that's Fran, sorry. Look, I found a magical hair comb. Isn't it great? <laughs> I don't know. A hair comb? What is that? Want to try it? It'll make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know. Is it dangerous? It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. All right, let's try it. All right, but just promise you won't burn me, okay? It only burn if I'm in danger. You be gentle and nothing bad will happen. I'll be gentle. It worked. What is happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. But how? You are a Lucifern. All Luciferns I've met do this all the time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. Knife time, knife time. That must be the key for the door 103. I can smell it. Can't reach it from here. What do I do? Hmm. I wonder. Well, we can't do this yet. I was going to joke about why you need pliers to pull teeth out and torture, then I th thought it was too gruesome. Uh, I wonder if we can do something with the cat. Well, that seemed to do something. I have to find him and for that I have to open all the doors. Um, I, I put my case in there and then nothing happened. Cord. Maybe a balloon. What what did I do with my case? It's just like gone now. Didn't see your message. You can go further along in room 105. Okay. Uh, I didn't see your message. No, I was unfortunately not able to join the stream until just now. Did I did I mess up somehow with the case? Oh, I can- oh, I didn't realize I can go for it. Oh my god. Does the sound- the sound of my heart disturb you? Probably. It can stop all of a sudden and that would be the end. I just want the soap. <laughs> soap, are you having trouble with hygiene? Terrible problems with hygiene. I smell like my flesh was all rotten inside. But that sounds delicious. I don't think that would be a problem. Maybe for you, just let me have the soap for a little while. All right, then take it, it's all yours. But be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. 
They eat their baby bodies and keep the heads, their beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. See you later. That's it. We got everything. I'm wondering if I have to put all of the things in the cat. I do not think you can mess up in this game. Not knowing you can go forward to the left. There you go. Thank you. This is uh, what I'm gonna use to grab the key, isn't it? Not that those old school point and click it clicks where you can soft lock your game at every step. <laughs> Remember when point and click adventures were like basically the only video game? Combine the w no, I didn't mean to combine. Damn it. I'll wake up the Mabuka with this. Um, I thought I was gonna use it to grab the key, but I guess not. Can you put goblin bathwater into a balloon? Throw it at the creature that gnaws at the tree? Hey, that's not a bad idea at all. That's some that's some good thinking there, Imatan. Right. Powerful water balloons. Good, good thinking on that one. That was, uh, that was some, that was some clever, crafty business. Uh oh, I missed. Oh, almost. Come on, nasty creature. Soft locked. Yes, I did it. Goodbye, Kamala. Wow, oh, I don't feel the sadness anymore. Thank you. Don't worry, I'm happy you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. Ooh, a branch. Piece of me, you can plant it if you like. Thank you, sir. I have to go now. Hope you find it. See you around. Um, do, do you think we're going to need to plant it, or am I just using it to get the, the key? Seems to me I am just using it to get the key. I meant to end the stream about half an hour ago, but I'm really enjoying this, so... I can reach it. Now I have the key. Yay! We're not going to use it. We're not going to have an animation for that because that would be tricky. I love a key for a bloody door. Hey, before we go in that bloody door, let's try something. Stab. Oh. Oh well. Creature from above, get out from Mak Mabuka's den. You are not welcome. Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat and I need to wake up Mabuka. Just Mabuka, Mother Mabuka for you, arrogant little infant. How did you plan to wake her up, eh? With the crazy ideas of Cogwind? He's not crazy. 
he's a nice clockmaker. He's not crazy. So you know him. I assume you have been into a thirsta horrid place, I may say. Too dazzling. I want to go there. After I find my kitty. Good for you. Your fragile little mind will be safe there with all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty is waiting for me. Hello, goat. You look a bit like Remor. Hello, little boar. Huh, you don't scare me a bit. Floor is beating like a heart. Okay, well. I, I enjoy a little bit more of a stream. Hey, thank you for the longer stream. No worries. Ah, be aware of Mabuka. The awakened darkness rises from the unknown. I'm sorry to wake you up, Mother M Mabuka, but I need a favor from you. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for a little tiny body. I can answer that for myself. I'm Fran Bo, human girl, 11 years old, and I'm very brave, so you know. A human in Mabuka's den? That's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Remor. I think he is your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of reddish potion or beans? Beans? My pills looked like red beans, so yes, I took a whole bottle. Then I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth that you seek. Thank you, but what power has been unleashed, can you tell me? The power inside you, don't you know? You were selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of ex essential existence were created parallel with time. What are you talking about? The keeper of the key. Who told you this? The great Valokas from Primitive. Sorry, Primitive. Told us everything a long time ago. The keeper will be hunted by the son of darkness after feeding from the red seed. But you are too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the keeper of the key. There's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? I think Remor killed my parents, Mother Mabuka. Can you imagine how it feels? I'm all of those feelings, Franbo. I am the sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. But then you don't care for more killed my parents? I thought you were nice. What well, gave you that impression, exactly? <laughs> exactly what in the world made you think that this was a good and kind creature? Every single thing leading up to this moment has been, yo, freaking watch out, Mabuka is around the corner and they are a dark and evil creature. Fran Bo just strolls up, yo, can you give me some treats and candy? What an absolute stupid person. I am curious about knowing the reason, if that makes you feel better. Now I understand, it's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. Uh, hold on a second. I'll open my heart for you. I won't even try that. Well, you're a coward then. What? We're back in the asylum. Oh, that creature's body is made out of baby faces. <laughs> oh. Do I know you from somewhere? You look something from... You took something from me, didn't you, you little thief? Where is my knitting needle? Ah, uh, did you stab all your little friends with it? Oh, what? Knitting needle? Are you the dead nurse I saw back in the Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you? Ah, uh, you little beast. Take a number, would you? And wait for your turn in the waiting room. But Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 do, bum, bum. Hope I get a good one. Do, 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 do. do, do, do. 
Love the elevator music. I wonder how long I must wait now. Hours? Maybe days? Uh, I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone been waiting? I've been waiting for like a month. But I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. Excuse me, everyone, but is there a way to make things faster? Become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. And by doing that, you could also help us all. Why won't you become a doctor yourself then? I can't because I feel very sick. Can't. My R... I is bleeding. <laughs> Sorry, blinded. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor, I must be patient. Neither can I, I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. I'm not sick at all, please let me go before you, okay? I can't, I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Do you feel pain? That's a very hard question, make it softer. How can I do that? I'm going to make a question softer. That's very strange. Have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Impossible to talk to you. To talk any sense with any of you. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're not the one that sees it all. You've only known us for a few minutes. That's very little time to understand it all. That's true, but it would be nice to use some common sense. What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? It helps to understand. We do understand each other very well with our uncommon sense anyway. We actually do. We do respect the differences. Who sees all that then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. It is not the same as seeing everything. Now, I want to wait because talking won't make the wait go faster. All right, thank you for nothing. I think my horn won't grow again. I'm going to be very angry because of that very soon. Waiting was fun at the beginning, now it's just boring. Hey, you know, something just occurred to me. No, oh, okay. I just realized, is this thing, is this a hint? book it, it feels like maybe this is like been a hint book that's been like I don't know this the book has been like increasing in length do you see the screen I have number two it's almost my turn You see this? Okay. Exchange your tickets? No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illnesses I have. What if I find out what illnesses you have? Would you then give me your ticket? Sure, if I'm still here when you come back. My R eye is broken. The big eye told me that because she sees it all. Not really, no, I'm not interested. Would it be possible to exchange your tickets? That is not too convenient for me, I'm sorry, but no. Line cutter. <laughs> Use the knife, line cutter. Would it be possible to exchange your tickets? I would like to help you, but it's my turn to help myself, so no. <laughs> Do, 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 do. I think it's the hijacker. Hey kid, this is my turn now to talk here with the nurse, all right? If you don't want, wait and leave us alone, I'll tear you apart and eat you. You, you eat children? Do you know what, that we children are actually immature? Let's leave the patient alone now. The doctor will determine the severity of the illness, don't you worry. RGB the colors that make other colors.
Knife time, knife time. You can go further left. I don't I don't believe you actually. I don't think I don't think I can. My bad, no, no worries. Can you please wake up again, Miss M Mabuka? Hmm. Knife time on horn. Uh, I, there was a phone earlier. I'm just wondering if I'm supposed to do something with that phone at some point. Knife on horn. I know that, uh, I know we've had this on running joke that the knife is the solution to every problem, but I don't literally think that it can solve every problem. Truly demonic. Um, y'all, I'm I'm at kind of at a, a loss right now. What are you looking at? need your help. What can I do for you? Patient trouble. Tell me what the illness the creature who has ticket number two suffers. He's in the waiting room, waiting. Let me see. But from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by the low levels of agony in him. Is it possible to help him somehow? I need this ticket. Crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle will do it. But don't forget the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm in a very problematic point in my life. Thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home. But now everything is so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Mabuka said that I was selected for something. She fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my Kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. Just want to find him so we can go back to Arthurista and be happy. Yes, this is a this is a actual drawing in this game. Lovely pain, so profound. The bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the creator that has your ticket. Go now. Time does not wait for anybody. All right, we we solved it somehow.
Here, drink this, you'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me, haha, <laughs> how lovely, let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more, give me more. No, leave me alone, you promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. Alright, alright, there you go. Thank you, your tears taste absolutely delicious. Um, I think I'm gonna call it there, guys. Done it, yay. It's not your turn yet. Well, what, what the heck, dude? Oh, it is my turn, though. No, it is my turn. Well, I'll, I'll start the, the this, and then I'll, uh, I'm gonna call it there. I'm gonna do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. Sorry, we don't help sick people without an appointment. I'm not sick. I lost my kitty. I just want to find him. Lost kitty? Don't worry. That's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're lucky, though. Many lose their mind instead. Lucky, how do I get an appointment, then? Just call me. Here's my card with a telephone number. Oh, God. Okay. I'm waiting for you to call me. All right. Didn't mean to do that. My giant sentient eye hurts. Okay. told me to make, call and to make an appointment. It's Fran Bo. I'm available now. No, no, hey, no. Yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. See you in a minute then. Great, great. Thank you. Bye-bye. Call 911. Is that, is that universal in every country? I, I thought that the emergency number changed depending on the country. Patient number two, do you have an appointment? Yes. Fran Bo. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. See you in a minute. Go through the door to your right. Thank you. All right. Um, this, oh. You look quite pallid. Yes, what a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. Don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. Oh, is this the doctor? Isn't the the pain you feel enough? You are remor, aren't you? I've gotten haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am remor, the terrible black prince of darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where is my cat? What did you do to Mister Dearn? I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping off your eyes. I feed from it. Manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. Here in Sweden, it's one, two, two. Huh. It's one, oh, three or something. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Why did you kill my parents? You're assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. Oh no. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Stop it. Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. I haven't killed my parents. The monster wants to trick me, I know. Everybody is crazy around here. I have to find Kitty and leave. Alright guys. 
good place to stop. Thank you very much for joining me for a creepy stream. Um, you'll see me next Tuesday with a normalish stream, Library of Rowena.